What's up YouTube? Sacred Sage here, back with another video. This one we're going to be talking about the favorites and the scripts. How we can get them up here on your bars. So I got a brand new layout and we are going to work from that. Before that though, if you find this video helpful, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, bell, notification, all that good stuff to help support the channel. <clears throat> with that being said, let's get on with it. All right, first thing we're going to have to do to get those tabs and everything up there is have a character preset. If you don't know how to do a character preset, basically you just double click a character, file, save as, and whatever you're saving. If it's the dress and the wearables, you can do wearables. If it's the character model, you can do character preset. It saves all of these settings. Next thing you'll have to do is go into your content library. I normally do not use the content library. A lot of people like it. Me, it's just too hard on my eyes. I always do the smart content, but that's just a preference of mine. So I already have it set up and found right here, models for the tutorial. And here is my example. This is a model from my visual novel that I do. So we all you, all you have to do is select it, right click. And there's this option when you right click that says create custom actions. When you do that, it brings up another small little menu. So it asks, what do you want the menu to be? Well, this is going to be a favorites, not a script. And then where do you want it? You don't have to have anything in there but if you want let's say you want it like all your female models in a single folder that's all you would have to do is just type that in right so if we do that and we'll just have the text the same as well oh no we'll name this for my character now you hit enter and it says a new custom action for cascade has been created so now as you can tell you just click okay a favorites popped up here and now whenever you want you can just come up here and select the model versus having to go and dig through your content library now let's say you want to add a script instead you don't you already have all that taken care of or you don't want that so we can also add scripts the same way so we just scroll down here and I already got my scripts folder open here and let's say we want to have the shape gen and we want this to be in our scripts. It's the same exact way. Just right click, create custom actions, except this time we do want it in our scripts. So we just do that and I'll just type in utility and then we'll just keep the text with the shape gen. That's fine. And then we hit accept. Same exact thing just happened that the favorites did. Just click OK. And now up here in scripts, utility, bam, there it is. And it's pretty much that simple, that easy. Now let's say you've done some changes. You don't want you don't want that particular model on your favorites or your script. So what you do to take it off is a little bit more digging, I guess you can say. So go up to Windows, Workspace, and then go all the way down to customize uh, uh, eyes or F3. Now for where these things are located, you, you'll see a whole slew of things on this side, but it's actually over on the right side. You click on menus, main menu bar, open that up. And then right here, favorites. And then you can just select it and then remove item. Here's the scripts one do the same exact thing you can just remove the item and then you hit apply accept and now when I click these it's empty they're no longer there and that's all it is to it it's pretty simple pretty easy and um, I think that pretty much wraps up this video so hope you guys liked it hope it was, helped out uh, help you out in trying to organize because that's a big thing Keeping everything in Dad Studio organized is like a major time saver. So hit that thumbs up if you did. I'll catch you next time in the next video. Not sure what that's going to be just yet, but stay tuned in and find out. Take care.